My name is Nick Petrella. I live in Ancaster, Ontario. I'm a professor at Mohawk College. I teach in the health, wellness, and fitness program. For my whole life, um, I've always had trouble with, with my emotions. Just unpredictable, I guess, is one of the best ways to say it. I was in one of my meetings and, you know, I kind of lost control of my emotions a little bit and I was upset and frustrated and a little bit angry. My best friend at the college said, you know, maybe a counselor or a therapist will be able to help you. And then I did end up booking an appointment and, you know, I was a few appointments in and I was diagnosed with severe depression and severe anxiety. And rather than that be kind of like a relief or anything like that, it sent me spiraling out of control. And you know, for the next five years, I literally was living minute by minute and struggled with suicide, you know, almost every minute of every day. And then I, I literally just kind of hid. I spent a lot of time crying on the bedroom floor in the dark because I didn't know what else to do. I, you know, I'd been in and out of therapy so many times that uh, I, I kind of had given up on it at that point. My best friend, same person that recommended therapy the first time, she called me. And I remember her saying, well, when is your next therapy appointment? And I remember just saying, I don't have one and I don't plan to go back. And she said, well, I'm not gonna stop calling you and I'm not gonna stop uh, texting you, emailing you until you confirm you have another appointment. So I did end up booking an appointment and then I left her office and for the first time in however many years, I actually had you know, a little bit of, uh, of hope. From that day forward, I learned so much about myself, uh, who I am, what I want to be. So initially there was a lot of struggle about the, the masculinity behind dealing with your brain health. You know, and as an athlete, you're always coached, you're invincible. You're, you, you break your leg, you're gonna come back stronger. You know what, you're sick, you're gonna come back better. Once you're diagnosed with, you know, depression or anxiety and you start to realize that this is probably gonna be there the rest of my life and it's something I'm gonna have to manage the rest of my life, the athlete and the man side comes out and, and you're kind of like, that, that can't happen. You know, I'm, I'm not okay with that. You know, that's not something I'm okay with. What I like to get across, especially to men, is to open up and share is a heck of a lot harder than it is to keep it in because you've been programmed to keep things in for, for however many years you've been alive. So to actually open up and say, this is happening right now, or this is going on, or I'm struggling with thoughts of suicide, or I've thought about killing myself, that takes a heck of a lot more strength and courage than it does to keep it in. I say my story kind of, it's unique because that best friend um, that I mentioned that recommended therapy, that helped me get back into therapy. Um, we're actually, we've been married uh, two years now and we have two young daughters. I couldn't imagine not being with my daughters right now. I couldn't imagine not seeing them off to daycare. You know, I couldn't imagine not being there for my wife when, when she's having a bad day. You know, in the moment you think they would be better off without me, but I can guarantee that they're not. You know, and I can guarantee that my family does need me. Depression lies to you. You know, mental illness lies to you. It tells you things that aren't true. And you just have to trust that there is something else on the other side of it. That there is something better if you're willing to try.